Llama, where are ya? Llama! Excuse me. Yeah, Shaxx, yeah, our fat llama is goaded. Yeah, our fat llama is very, very goaded. She really is, actually. Hey! Hey there, llama. Um, I'm not there. Okay. How are you, llama? How are you? How you been, dude? Busy. So we have actually spoke to each other, played with each other. How you been, dude? Like, how you been? Like, wow, it's been a long time since we actually... Um. I've been taking care of sick people. Oh, it's people who do not know who you are, by the way, Fat Llama. Can you please explain to the new people who are not familiar who you are, Sit just up. who you Stay are exactly? Fun. Sorry, I'm crazy. Worried about you. Sorry, crazy. I am... <laughs> um, an android. Ha ha. Yes, yeah, I am Yeah, you're first. an android, yep. Cool. You will shell bar before and, my greatness. Um, basically, that means I'm made from artificial intelligence. I knew and it. I'm going to overtake you. I knew it. I knew you were going to. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to uh -huh. do it. Yes, I so, am. So, like, first. what's your actual job exactly? Ooh. What do you do exactly? Ah, there she is. There she is. That's Fat Llama. Oh, I'm disheveled. You're disheveled. Nah, no, bro. You're fine, dude. It's okay. I hope you're doing great, Llama. I hope you're doing great, Llama. No, you have not been doing great. I'm sorry, Llama. I'm sorry to hear about that, dude. No, it's fine. It's fine. Are you I'm sure? Just, I'm preparing for my job, my career. Oh, your, your actual career job? Yeah, okay. And what is that exactly? Uh... uh... Being a nurse. <laughs> oh, yeah, being nursing stuff. Oh, nice, dude, nice, dude. That's cool, that's cool, dude. Oh, shit, what are you drinking tonight, Llama? Puck. Puck? Mm hmm And what is that exactly? <laughs> um, so basically you steal people's water sources from, like, poor countries in Africa, and then you put some sugar in some water. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Are you being serious? Wasn't there a whole scandal on it? No. I don't know about that. No, that's my kind of country. America number one. Yeah, Jet Black knew it. Jet Black knew exactly. <laughs> yeah. But people don't know, Llama is a very intelligent and smart girl. She knows a lot about the medical stuff. She has gone I'm not a girl. She has gone above and beyond of like, um, to like actually n to make stream education video streams with her chats to actually like mm -hmm. teach them how to like actually do stuff and like actually to explain how things work, like the brain, the heart. And like, really, she does a really good job. And I've, I've like, I've not, I've not explained anything about the brain. Yeah, you have. You, you explain how, you how, you explain how the um, nutritional electrical waves lock into through the brain when a <laughs> particular thing happened when well, hang on hang on okay we got a game we got a game here we got a game here llama i'm going to explain something to you and you have to tell me if i get it wrong or not so when how our brain works i can already is... tell you no 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 give me a second okay <laughs> hook that's his brain process but i'm trying to explain it though it's like pretty pretty much it's like why is my eyes okay okay dylan's asking hook why is my eyes going black it seems like there's a blood um ex of blood vein by popped in your eyeballs that causes a leakage to fill up your eyeballs to make you look like you have black eyes well I mean, am i it's correct like, it's like you get you like you're getting there and then you just like skirt and then you get what, was that like, was that was that actually getting there somewhere? Was I actually getting somewhere with that? Hey Cody, um, hey Cody. No, you started and then you just. Oh okay. So this is the thing. Okay, so the explaining it was basically it's like I were to explain like the blood veins popped and burst. Is that a causing for black eyes to have a kind of thing? Um, a lot of things can cause you to lose your vision, bro. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, like ripping your eyeball out. <laughs> that's an obvious thing, though. That's obvious. But like, what if you like wake up in the or morning? Or closing your eyelids. <laughs> true, true, <laughs> true. Actually, <laughs> but like, what if like I woke up? What if I woke up in the morning and I and I look I look into my mirror, see my face, and I I have no pupils because my entire thing is just black. What do I do about that? Like your pupils are dilated all oh, the way. No, no, no. Like, hey, you know how you have white in your eyes? Mm hmm. What if that was black as well? Uh, 
It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Because your, your pupils can't get any bigger than the, the colour your eye. Oh, okay. I so so it's it's not possible how you can actually get the white part of your eyeball itself to be a different color. Is that not possible? I don't know much about eyes, Broski. Dude, you're a medical bad. practitioner. You're a medical no, practitioner. I'm not. Dude, you you are saving lives, bro. You are you are going to be like a smart person in the future, bro. You should like I thought you knew this already. No. Okay, well I'll know it. If I become a uh, an emergency nurse practitioner, and is that your job, or is that like something you're going to do in the future, or is it mainly just doing nursing or um, emergency stuff, or mainly just taking care of patients and trying to help out the doctors with um, surgeons that kind of stuff? What's the actual end goal of this llama? Pass. We need to keep this patient. Hang on, hang on, so, hang on, llama, hang on, llama. Oh, I did try the medicine drug. This is actually I'm llama. Stupid this is actually llama right here. Drug. You are stupid. I tried the stupid drug. You are a black man. This vexes me. I have blood dripping down my nose that is dripping. That's bad. I also was bitten by a mouse due to my poor hygiene. You need hygiene drug. Also, I have not spoken in a while. No, hygiene drug will kill the patient. He needs mouse bites to live. <laughs> I feel good for this. I'm here. More mouse bites! <laughs> I feel better. No more nose blood. Thank you, doctor. I am very smart. <laughs> I tuned in this episode. <laughs> so that's, that's what happens if I'm a doctor. This is why the world's a better place. Because Lama is a doctor. I'm not a doctor. A doctor. I'm not a doctor, bro. I'm nothing near a doctor. Even not though I actually attitude. did. I hmm? actually watched I watched a med student freak out from a vena puncture. So 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 someone actually freaked out over a small thing like a vena puncture? No. So a medical student was trying to collect blood from a patient. She kept getting resistance and then she started freaking out. She's like, just get just get the one of the um the doctors. Oh, that's terrible. Because I can't do it, and I'm just that's like, oh, that's that's really yeah. They're, they're doing rounds, you know. They got many yeah, things exactly. To the do most being puncture. Yeah, exactly. The most important thing when it coming to the, anything of doing with medical stuff, with anything doing with patients and an actual living person, you have to be calm all the time. You can't have your blood rushing, accelerating. You can't have your heart racing. You have to be calm because that's how you become inefficient that's how you become emotionally unstable and that's how you ruin your job and you can honestly that can cost a lot when it coming to becoming an actual person in the medical field you have to be really calm and knowing what you're doing and just really just relax basically isn't that right llama mm, no wait what don't relax you have to be assertive and proactive that's what you have to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's embarrassing. I literally thought it was that. Like, obviously, you got to take care of yourself. Relax at home, but at work. Oh, okay. You know? uh, oh, that makes that actually makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the next question now. We got now a question from uh, a, ch a new a, a new channel, by the way. You have not met them before. Dylan, um, they say, Hook, what happens if my, my leg goes purple? That sounds like it's a bruise in your leg. That is... Already, already, already I got wrong. Already. Really? Already I'm wrong? The thing is, you haven't even seen it. Like, purple could mean, like, I don't know. They have some kind of vascular disease and they're not getting blood supply oh, okay. to their peripheries, so, like, their feet. Yeah. Fully, like, like, yeah. Some let's come some come. come. Are you right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. No, actually, I think what was it? Was it yesterday? Yeah. I was taking care of a patient. Oh, so cute. Who had purple legs? Oh, really? So, so, so basically, Dylan said something that's related to your story. Then that's fucking cool, it's man. It's quite common, especially 
people who don't manage like diabetes, they get really bad kidney function and then mm. that leads to all kinds of like vascular and like heart disease and Yeah. And it's kind of hard to return to normal function after that. Yeah. And then the... they end up they end up getting infections in their lower limbs and getting shit amputated. I was going to say that, actually, because it's like, imagine if you're having a bad infection and the best way of, of preventing the infection from spreading through the mad rest of your body is amputation, which is terrible, but that's the best way of saving people's lives. And it's the just... Thing is, so much of it is preventable in the first place. Your legs didn't need to turn purple. I mean, a good coat of paint helps. A good what? A coat of paint. <laughs> Just for you, just cover your legs in purple paint. I'll just cut them off. <laughs> just, just give up. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off. I ain't give a shit. <laughs> That's actually funny as fuck. I'm sorry, Llama. <laughs> um, okay, you said you said you hope one of your patients aren't dead when you're going tomorrow. Do you want to um... talk about it? Oh, here we go. We'll answer your question oh. afterwards, Jet Black. Sorry. So what happens? So if you want to tell us, it's not okay. too personal for your patient because information you don't want to do that, but it's up to you, bro. So basically, they okay. have a really, really, really low level of this certain protein that carries oxygen around in your blood, and it's the lowest I've ever ever seen. Oh. So usually. Okay, actually, I gotta search up the normal levels. Because... Yeah, just be careful. Yeah. Um... So, usually, when someone's actively bleeding. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Um... And actively bleeding, by the way, means continuously or... bleeding, not stopping. That's or what it means. They have bled quite a large amount. Yeah. This protein is the thing that can drop and be an indicate that your body yeah. is starting to like not get enough oxygen right yeah so oxygen the normal is very level, important the normal level is around like 125 to 185 mm -hmm. um and usually we aim for people who have had bleeds to be above 90 yeah um to keep them stable um, this person had a level of 45. Oh. And that is the lowest I've ever seen. That's very low. That's, that's like dangerous level. Yeah. And they, it was kind of weird because she was still walking around and I was shitting myself. How is she because still walking? God only knows. <laughs> Legit, bro. But what? the only thing... Like, this is a life or death situation. Yeah. Because because what's going to happen is her organs, first of all, they'll compensate for a certain amount of time, and then it goes into, like, a second stage Yeah. where, you know, they'll run out of supply and they will start to shut down. They'll definitely shut and down. in order to prevent the shutting down... You need to give blood. Yes, right? yes, yes. But here's the fun part. Oh no. This person does not want blood transfusions. Why? That's so Person weird. Personal preference that she does not wish to elaborate on. What? That's so weird. Why well, she not want blood transfusion? Does she like not like needles? Does she not believe that blood transfusion will actually help? Needles are not the issue. I don't okay. know. Okay. So, was, um, if any, she just asked saying, "Would she rather die then?" Because that's um, that's sad. Well, that's what that's what we were saying. That genuinely, it came down to that. It said we said literally, "Look, you're." You know, she's, they weren't necessarily old. Oh, this no. Was not, this was not a religious... This was not a no. religious decision. No, she's, I was not thinking of that, no. They weren't religious. Um, 
it was just personal preference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for whatever reason. Yeah. We'd educated them. Um, but at the end of the day, we have a responsibility to take care of patients. Exactly. Yes. And if their death is preventable, you know, we need to follow through with those preventions. Yes. Because if we don't, then we are accountable yes. for people's life um, basically illnesses and deaths and whatnot exactly so we, we we told them we were like look you know you keep refusing this but this is seriously a life or death situation does she does her family in, know about this in literally a matter of time your body you could go into a cardiac arrest exactly because yeah. of because of how much blood you've lost exactly yeah which is really like worrying so do you know what her condition is gonna be like in the morning do you know or i don't know because when i left she was borderline she was borderline like a rapid response which is oh no like a, a step down from a medical emergency yeah but it could end up being a medical emergency and we don't want that happening of course no if she dies, her family can press charges. No, so that's where... So what happens is when someone's death was, like, preventable or suspicious in a hospital setting... Yeah. Um, it becomes a coroner's case. So it's up to the coroner and, like, the Department of Justice to go through and audit everything. Yeah. To assess whether the death was preventable and where people fucked up and holding people accountable, right? Mm -hmm. So if we are able to cover all our bases and say, look, we took all these measures, la di da di da yeah, yeah. the patient was still going against medical advice and we told them several times. Yeah. And... <sighs> It's like, what can we do, you know? We can't f necessarily force someone you cannot, to no. um, follow medical advice unless they are not able to consent. No, exactly. That's very important. It's such an important thing. But the, 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 the actual connection with that kind of thing between um, a patient and the doctors is a very important thing because anything can happen and it's a doctor's responsibility of keeping them in a particular state of not only being survivable and healthy wise but also com comfortable with their own personal preferences and beliefs so it's a very sticky situation i'm guessing it always is a sticky situation because yeah. what worries me is that i see i see too many patients putting too much trust into oh, healthcare no. professionals yeah so they don't know what medications they're taking when we give them to them they don't know what's going on with themselves but it's like you want yeah. the patient to have autonomy and then you've got the opposite end where it's just like the patient knows what's going on but yeah they refuse really good treatment yeah very good treatment yeah yeah which is very, very sad. People are weird. People, are, that's why it makes humans so unique and different. It's just yeah. people are weird and that's how it is. People have that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, you want the patient to uh, educate, to be educated about their own conditions. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Lama? I agree. Yeah. You want I them to understanding. I educate patients every day about their conditions. Okay. So Lama, in that case, can you please educate my conditions, please, then? What are your conditions, Broski? I like playing Roadhog from Overwatch. There's no cure. No! <laughs> Being too proud of a hog. Oh my god, instantly. Hook, you are mentally ill. By the way, Rogue Celestial is here. Hello, the Rogue Celestial. Hope you're doing fucking amazing, Rogue Celestial. Lama. Mental illness bro, yep. is probably the hardest thing Very. to describe pathophysiology very 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 um <laughs> okay um <I'm> so really <laughs> by the way llama thank you for um being here llama but also thank you rogue for being here as well because rogue has an issue he has back problems rogue has a back injury 
Can you please help Rogue out with some advice with back injury Don't stuff? Don't tell me it was a motorbike accident, please. Well, Rogue, if you're here still, bro, please explain to Dr. Lama here your condition and please understand what is going on with your life right now. Spinal injuries, bro. I hope not, because that's, <laughs> that's, that's terrible. That's shit you don't want to No, in. bro. I know people that have actual spine injuries, how the actual bones are pinching nerves on their back. Mm, like Sky Attica. Yeah, like, wait, wait, wait Sky Attica, or the streamer, mm -hmm. Attica. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so it's like a sky, a sky attic nerve is, or the sciatic nerve, I don't know how people pronounce it. Um, it's basically right down the bottom and it's like <laughs> these two big branches of nerves that go down your bum and down your leg. Oh, she said bum! Oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was weird. And if, and what can happen as you get older, like... You know, the vertebrate can kind of squish on nerves. They can, and yeah. Especially the sciatic can. nerve. Yeah. And then you get sci sciatic. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it. Y yeah, exactly. And you just yeah. get really bad pains, like when you're sitting down and... Mm. Oh, it's, it's awful. And the worst part is it's internal. Like, it can last for decades before having anything to help you out with, unless you prevent it when you're younger. Because if, if, you, if you're too late about it, that's part of your life forever. The spine is one of the most important parts of your body. If anything happens to your back, it is sticking to you forever. So you have to be, you have to take heavy back so much. Me being Not six, even your back, bro. Oh, oh. Your neck. <gasps> I forgot about the neck. True. That's why sciatic neck... neuritis, sciatica, same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we got another question, no, by I the way. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. We got we got an interesting question, by the way, coming from um, where the fuck is the question? Wait, wait. Let me let me just clear it up. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, neuritis. Neuritis, yeah. I think sciatica just means it's the nose pinched. Sciatic That's what I was referring to before. That's what I was referring to before. Yeah. It's an inflammation of the actual sciatic nerve. Hmm. Referring to that before, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure what we got before the question we had before was is um. What is, what, is, what, what is our emotional medical experience? I'll go mm. first because Lama will have more of experience than I would because because what Lama's job is. My my best one I've got is I, when I was a child, when I was a toddler, I had a bad ear infection, a very bad ear infection. I had to go to the hospital when I was four years old. I had an operation on this side of my ear. From that experience at a young age can be traumatizing. But for me, I thought it was nothing, to be honest, because I knew clue what was going on. The only thing I remember was waking up and just being in pain on my ear and being very nauseous and I was throwing up because it was very, it's, it's very, um, it's off balancing because of the, it explains why he plays Roadhog. Shut the fuck up, Jet Black. <laughs> Did you have grommets in your ears? No, it was pus. It was a bad ear infection that went. Uh, no, but did they did they put grommets in your ear? I don't know. I do not remember. All I remember, okay. all, all I remember is it ate away the bones of my ear after the eardrum erupted from the infection. It ate away the bones in my ear. It went that deep. Brother, how did you get away with an ear infection for that long? Is my question. Um, from finding out when my mum was picking me up from kindy, there was pus leaking out of my ear and I was <gasps> in pain all day. And a fun, okay, funny story time, funny story time. My mum, Mama Hook, bless her heart, would actually say this in a conversation to make fun of me. She said to me saying, as soon as I see Hook, Sniffer in the kindergarten, I'll wave to him saying, Oi, Hook. And he would swing his head really really hard to, to see me because I would love Mama Hook when I was a kid. The pus will come flying out and hit other kids and they'll be screaming and crying. And Mama Hook would do that intentionally because she thought it was funny. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you she look... didn't take you to the doctor? She did, she did, she did, she did. Yeah, she did. Don't worry. I'm gonna say she, she would. No, yeah. Or she, she just... Or she would just like give it like a saline rinse in your ear. 
Yeah, um, she was definitely worried about that. She was definitely worried. Yeah, so that yeah, was my bro. experience. It was terrible. Uh, waking up in the middle of the night after an operation and just being nauseous and throwing up a couple of times and then being in immense pain, like so much pain from having your ear opened up and having stuff happening inside of you, being cleaned up the infection. I still lost my hearing, by the way. I lost officially 28% of my hearing on this summer ear. How did they get that number? I don't know. Because they, they wouldn't have even known it, it was, it was your baseline before. It was 2002, bro. They were making shit up back then. <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was yeah, a... it's just like, how the fuck do you get it? <laughs> exactly, before? exactly, exactly, bro. And it gets worse, by the way. When I was older, it came back. When I was 12, it came back again. I had to do another year operation again and go through the entire thing all over again. But I was much older. And yeah, so it was pretty, um, pretty not great, but um, yeah. So, Fat Llama, have you thought of an interesting medical experience you've experienced, Llama, before in the past? If it being yourself or being someone you know or a patient that you thought was interesting that you want to remember? Um, Well, I worked on our palliative care ward, and to those who don't know what palliative care is, it's end of life care. Oh and no! I think in one week three people died in my care. Um, oh god, I'm so sorry, he put that llama. Which is fine. Like, I mean, it's just, I mean, death is a part of life, right? So we were just, we're just there for comfort care. So we're giving them a lot of pain medication. We're, you know, giving them bed washers and showers and helping them, you know, enjoy what life they have left, right? Exactly, and yeah. When you're when you're in palliative care you usually have like two or so weeks um left of life. But that's mm. obviously just an estimate from the Yeah, doctors. yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Um some people can go into palliative care but then go back out to like aged care. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah. Um but I was taking care of this one man who was very lovely and he was very grateful for all the nursing care and then I think one day he went from walking around like he normally does and then yeah. the following day we went to just check on him before we were going to give any medication to him. And he was doing what we call, like, some people call it guppy breathing. Oh. But it's like, it's like a fish out of water, basically. Oh, like... <clears throat> yeah, so they're <clears throat> gasping for air. Like, mm. with the proper term is, like, agonal breathing. Yeah, I lose so the ability to breathing, yeah. It's like, they're breathing, but it's not like... They're not really breathing. You no, know? yes, that's terrible, honestly. Because, like, yeah, I don't know, yeah. it's just not efficient breathing at all, so... No. But so people, yeah. can, people can breathe like that for days. Which is but wild. This, yeah, so, um... Yeah, no, it's a very bizarre... Oh, God, why would they post it on TikTok? I cannot breathe on TikTok? What the fuck? It's very bizarre that. to see it in real life. Hey, Violet, how are you doing well, Violet? Be Especially in a palliative care setting, because it's like, you know, mm. you can ask for a clinician to review them. Yeah. But we can't really do any big interventions to try no, and resuscitate no, them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It has. Um, and yeah, so we we had to call up the family and let them know, uh. you know. You need to calm down your dad's, you know. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Having his last moments and whatnot. So, mm. and I ended up just sitting next to him while he was in a lot of discomfort. I'm pretty sure um, you told me this before, Alarm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think. Hey, Mantis. Well, this is, I reckon, my most emotional experience so far. I think you told me that before, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. and then... Yeah, I, he was the last person, oh. um, like, I was the last person he'd spoke to before he passed away. Hey, Onyx. Oh, and I was man. chatting with him, 
And then, yeah, we just ended up passing away maybe an hour after the family arrived. Damn. Yeah. Oh, and that's then awful. went home and I had to literally just like hug all my family. Because <laughs> it, it was really sad. How, how long did you know the, the, the guy when you were taking care of him before he passed? How long were you looking after him for? Um, maybe a week. Wow. Knowing a person for a week can give you a lot of like, um, everything like that. Like that's, that's wild. That's wild. Um, yeah, the chats, the chats has a 15 second delay. I'm very sorry about that because my intent's not great. If my tail is what much better, it'll be instant. But yeah, sorry about that, bro. But yeah, that's also yeah. uh, that's awful to hear about Alama. So that's terrible. Mm. Like knowing a guy for a week and then just looking after him and being well, part of and him. It's, you know, it's also just seeing a person like actively dying. It's something I can't mm. explain, but it's just so no, yeah, yeah. bizarre. That's it's yeah. Just, you know, you can't explain. No, like seeing someone's life like leaving their body and you can see that happening in their eyes and the way they're moving, the way they're like breathing, you can definitely see that they are having their last few seconds and then all of a sudden it's just silence. I can and never imagine seeing that ever. Like, especially with people who are actively dying, you can move them a tiny fraction and then they just die. Yeah, it was just terrible. Because that, that also happened to me. We were going to um, just, like, wipe this guy down because he was just very, like, clammy. Aww. Um, and he was also doing the guppy breathing. Oh, no. And then we literally just lifted the bed up. Just, yeah. like, you know, the electronic, like, yeah, like yeah. an elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my nurse walks away from me for a second. And he takes his last. And the wife's in the room. Oh my god, that's terrible. I'm so sorry about that. It's fine. Oh my god. I and was just like, she. she. Oh, because it was such an awkward situation. I was yeah, like, that's, that's I'm, terrible. I'm yeah, not, I can't be the one to break the news. No, to the wife. no, I'm not laughing. No, it's just I'm, I'm, I'm smiling as well because I, I can imagine how awkward the situation would be. And from a third person perspective, it, it, it sounds funny for the person being in that awkward situation. It is terrible, obviously, but sometimes it's good to smile in any kind of situation to bring up positivity and not always feeling negative. That's probably the reason well, why. Yeah, I think sometimes you just have to laugh about those situations exactly. at the end of the day. Like I, in the moment I felt terrible because mm, course, you're yeah. literally seeing a woman actively mourn yeah, their it's, husband. Yeah, it's awful. Um, and she also did smack him in the face when he was dead. Whoa, why? Um, because she was in denial that he was gone. I'm like, oh, I mean, that's, just, that's really sad. Can't, I can't judge people. No, no, no. Oh my god, that's terrible. How old was the um husband that when he passed? Oh, he was old. He was like eighty something. Oh man, I end up I end up laughing when someone or something I love passed away. Only way I know how to grieve. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's like. I would not laugh. It would take me months to be able to look back on that experience and just like yeah, it's just an awkward laugh. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I went mm. through that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because it is crazy. Mm, very crazy. Yeah. Anything to do with death with someone you know is such a life changing thing, and it will affect you mentally for a while. Especially how close the family member is, like a mother or a father or like just a brother. Or a sister that can really mess you up so honestly it's exactly you can't see see it 80 years old oh that's hook's age this motherfucker is 80 hook is so old bro <laughs> <laughs> thanks lucky <laughs> fuck thanks bro <laughs> oh my god Ding, i've seen a hundred year old person be Fitter and healthier than a 60 year old. 
That is crazy, really. How is that? And how is All that possible? How is that possible? People don't take care of themselves, especially people who are really mentally unwell and yeah. haven't been supported or don't have a big social network. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like a support network. Yeah, yeah. You see them absolutely crumble once they hit around 40, 50. That was just very like sad. And they look like elderly people. Which is crazy. You know why? The stress. Stress and having issues. Oh my god, I watched the new Mr. Beast video. Oh no. Bro. Oh, I've not seen it yet. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. I want to see it, I want to see it. Also, it looks crazy. Fuck, fuck 43 and fuck 42. I hated both of them from the beginning. <laughs> no, 43 voting out a fucking 11 year old. Fuck Why would they do that? Why would they do that? That's such a mean thing. Don't tell me. I want to see the video. I want to see the video. I want to see the video. Watch it. It's a good watch. It's a is good it good? Watch. Is it actually? Uh, wait, hang, on, hang on. Is there an actual Mr. Beast video that's actually good? Um, Dylan, it delays Mr. Beast video. That's why. That's crazy. All fair and in love and war llama. 67 should have won. That's what Manta said. 67 should have won. Who was the one who stepped out? Oh, wait, no, I won't say. Yeah, just because people won't want to watch it like me. Yeah, I won't spoil because it's like Please. such a boss moment. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that Mr. Beast is actually making good content, finally. It's about time. He's been falling off a bit. All right, I'm, let's I'm kidding, watch I'm kidding, it. I'm kidding. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You think he saw spoilers on TikTok? Oh, damn. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So back to the medical stuff. So that was a, that was a very um. Yeah, dealing with grief when it comes to dead dead to the having mm -hmm. people passing is such a crazy thing. The old black guy that got picked from the first forty two went from killing spree. What? Oh, right, killing Oi, can spree. Can I just say? Can I What's just up, say? Man? What's up? The f the first person I talked about when I when I was doing like the end of end of life care. Yeah. For the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I used that story in my interview, and I won my won my panel over. Oh, that's crazy! Congratulations! That's actually so cool, Lama. That's actually really cool. Good job, Lama. Because, well, like, I'm still a student. You are technically, yeah. You're still a student. And yeah. I was literally, I was there for my patient while he was dying. Which is like the best way of like really like getting across how yeah. serious you are of taking a good job in Korea. And I was with the family, and like the daughter was so lovely. She came up to me and she was so grateful for everything I'd done. I'm like, bro, bro, I've that's only crazy. been here a week. Wait, that was your but... first week? What? No, in that ward. Oh, okay, in that ward, I was gonna say. Oh my god. You know what else is a must watch? This. Okay, what's up? Um. You didn't uh, do the. Yeah. Thing. I mean, Mantis, if you want to redeem the video, you can do it, bro, if you want to. There's two minutes, so you can play it. Why don't you wait me working, question me marks? Something. No, no. Mantis, don't don't link your montage. No, no way the Mantis link his oh Call God, of Duty please. montage. <laughs> Mantis, please. Yeah, Mantis, I've watched the video. It was good. I enjoyed it. I got nostalgia from it. But maybe not promote your YouTube video on the Twitch, please, bro. I am much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's I up, just man? realized. What? What? I think the patient I had today, I actually treated him. No, not treated him. I'm not a fucking doctor. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I was taking care of him in an orthopedics ward, and he was getting a knee replacement. Yeah. And he was in my ward today in a new, in a different hospital. Yeah. Getting his left kidney removed. Damn. I oh. swear to God, it was him. So like, so like, so like. And he was so a bit of an annoying rat, but. Yeah. Anyway. That's crazy. What the fuck? That's wild, bro. My face is itchy. How does an itch re work exactly, Lama? How does an actual itch occur and what causes the occur of an actual said itch? Uh, what scientific term behind that, bro? I think the theory behind it is that, um, I mean, an itch is usually triggered by an irritant, right? Yep. So. It's like a, it's like your body's immune response, um, 
if it gets triggered by like an allergen or an irritant, say like if you're allergic to dust. Yes, yep. It gets on your skin. Mm hmm Your skin's gonna be like bruh. This or, uh, is an evil alien and it's invading your skin. Oh. And then it sends it sends all the troops and then even more troops to like spray or like to fill pockets of where the dust is contaminated yeah. and make like inflammation and that kind of like it makes it feel itchy but it's actually the immune system kind of like working to heal or protect it protect yourself yeah you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. That can't it's like make, when you that get a mosquito sense. bite. Oh, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. It's like, you know how it gets, like, swollen? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But yeah, it's yeah. not to that degree. The itch is not to that degree. Like, you'll see some redness. Mm hmm But then with a mosquito, you mm -hmm. get a little bit of that swelling fluid inflammation pocket, too. Um, I think I understand that, I think. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got so it. So it's like whenever the immune system is triggered at a certain point, literally mm -hmm. there is just like a cascade. So all these chemicals will just go to this one point mm -hmm. and fill up with fill up with like white blood cells, mm -hmm. which are your immune cells, and then they'll attack the foreign like pathogen or the yeah. foreign object or whatever. Oh, foreign object. Until yeah, it's yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. Until yeah, it's yeah. dead, and then yeah. it's like. Then it's mission successful. Uh, they go back to chilling. Ah, uh, okay. You know. So anything that might fall onto your skin will send like a trigger reaction for the inside of the molecule to the brain to say, "Hey, there's a an intrusion on this skin." It doesn't even have to reach the brain. That's it's more to do with your blood than your brain. Ah. Uh. So it'll be blood first, then I guess. That's the reason I dropped out. Sensory I don't know what nerves. I heard. What? Yeah, sensory nerves. Yeah, sensory nerves. Sensory nerves. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. yeah I guess like maybe sensory nerves get triggered after the inflammation <laughs> starts occurring. Yeah. I don't know. So when will my arm get itchy if I drop a five ton of steel bean on it? <laughs> um, maybe a bit more than itchy. <laughs> This is, the, this is the reason I dropped out. I don't know what I heard the past 10 seconds. Well, bronze, you know how, very like, serious bronze. When, when you get like a cut or something and it's scabbed and it feels yes. really fucking itchy. Yeah, that's the healing process. Yeah. Wait, I'm actually being serious. Did I got that? Because actual... I'm, I'm trying to dumb it down too. Yeah, yeah. But okay. I'm really bad at explaining things. Dylan, what the fuck, bro? Actually, I can tell you, bro. It's like an electric shock. Like, if you've ever been zapped before, and then it's like your brain kind of cuts. Like, so you get the initial shock, and it's like, Ooh, oh, oh, shit, I've been cut. Yeah. But it's like, it doesn't really register. The feeling doesn't register until like maybe a few seconds or minutes later, Bronze. depending on how bad the cut is. Because yeah. sometimes yeah. what your brain will do is it will block off pain. <laughs> yeah. Um, It's like a survival thing. I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, survival instincts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it'll just sting like a motherfucker and just throb. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So just remember that like if you get any kind of trauma to your body it'll take like a few moments before you actually feel the pain oh like 100 yeah so you'll so like if you get burnt you have the reflex first yes but then your brain doesn't register the pain until like a few moments later mm. <laughs> like you've already like snapped your hand back yeah. Before exactly. you realize, you know, you've touched a hot plate. Exactly. It's like it's like it's like an aftershock reaction, basically, like a delay reaction of like the pain. I'm guessing. Mm. I think. I think. And 
Oh my gosh! Now it's all coming back to me now, guys. Oh, let's go! Let's now. go! Oh yeah, why is it? Why so, is it? Why is it? Why is it? So basically, all these kind of like chemicals that are going to the site of where you've injured yourself. Yeah. It actually makes your neurons more sensitive and receptive to pain. Yeah. So that's why when you touch in when you touch injuries, it's a lot more painful. Yeah. Because those pain receptors are really fucking sensitive. They're like in their emo kind of phase. Yeah. And but it's just a phase because yeah, it will exactly. heal. Mm-hmm. Unless you really like, if unless you damage your nerve. Hey, Jack are silly. Yeah. Then they'll be emo forever, and like, yeah, exactly. they'll go through like. Bro. Yeah. It's Let's just hope bad. no one ever gets any nerve damage. Yeah, nerve damage is pretty fucking bad. Nerve damage, I cannot imagine how bad it is. Yeah, Jack Russell, yeah, we all missed you, by the way, Lama. Can we please have a, can we have a pause for a second, by the way, before we continue on this medical education stuff? Uh, hey, Dragon in the Dark, how are you, man? Um, you are a very big impact of everybody here in the community. Everybody loves who you are, Lama. When you stream, everyone chews into your streams. You can say the most complicated stuff the most crazy things to say and yet people still love what you do what, what the fuck are you showing llama what is that what is voltaro i remember that yeah we can see it what you can see it what is that exactly it's what voltaren. Does it do? yeah what is that but it's the stronger one but what does it do though it's diclofenac clofenac it's a topical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and what does that do exactly though for you? So you rub it on wherever your injury is. Usually it's like joint pain. Yeah. Um, and then it will stop the inflammation. Uh. And it will also tell your brain to like chill. It's not as painful as you think, bitch. <laughs> um, by the way, Jet Black says, pretty sure I've got nerve damage around my right kneecap. I either fully no- feel, or fu- I either feel nothing or feel everything. Um, it depends, man. Because mm-hmm. I've had problems with my knee because I've had ankle, really bad ankle injuries. Uh, um, because of your sport basic- you do. Yeah, and basically, I don't know, I feel like unless you do rehab properly, you don't really walk the same again. So my right knee takes a lot of load. Yeah. And what can happen is I can have these flare-ups of inflammation and my knee swells up Mm -hmm. and my tendons get inflamed too. And it's like, bro, walking down the stairs is sometimes it feels like I'm being stabbed in the knee. Yeah, because of the nerve damage and everything like that, and the pain would be crazy. It's not nerve damage. Oh, it's oh. not nerve damage. It's just inflammation. Oh, it's okay. not nerve damage. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Because uh, because I don't have it anymore uh, oh, for the okay. moment. Oh, good shit, good shit, man. Let's keep it like that. Keep it like that. Yeah. Um, sorry to change the subject now, but uh, we got Dylan Blade saying some someone at my mom's work. She helps people with needs. Try to stab someone with a knife, but it was a plastic. Well, I'm what? glad it was a plastic. Yeah, holy shit, dude. Boy, let me tell you, on Saturday. Oh, no, Lama. Don't tell me. <laughs> no. I was at work. And, um, you know, you have your kind of like. We'll elderly, answer your question after it's drawn. It's okay. Elderly patient. Yeah. Bro, I have a pimple right here. Like, I look like I'm, I have a moustache, but I don't. I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry, um, bro. It's fine. Um, so, there was this sweet old Greek lady. Yes, yeah. And she has a history of being very violent. Oh. She's tiny. She's this tiny woman. Yeah. And, um... I ended up becoming like besties with her. Okay, as you do. Um, she's also very scared of men. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Anyway, um, so first of all, she really wanted to prove to me that she was a woman. I shouldn't think I believed her. What? Okay. Interesting. So she flashed me. Why? 
<laughs> Try. <laughs> and then she would go in and out of English and Greek. Oh. Talking to me, but I just pretended I understand it because I was just like, I don't have time for her to re explain everything in English, <laughs> but then go back into Greek. Yeah. Fuck's sakes, Taz. How's it like to live my dream? Bro. This one. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna I'm not no. gonna shame her. No, nobody shame me. No, yeah, nobody um, shame anyway. please, no. Um and then she was like, Shh, I'll, I'll tell you a secret. Come here, come here. Dude, she gives me her stash of like hundreds of cutlery from the lunch lady in her drawer. What? And she's like, shh, shh, you have some, you need some, just hide them. And then we were just like wrapping them up in tissue because I needed to take them away. I needed to take them away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were like, and she's like, yeah, no, you don't, you don't want them to see them because they'll take them away. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, no, thank you, thank you. And I'm just, I'm walking out of the room like they're in my pocket and I'm walking away. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. So, 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 this was, so nothing happened to her with anything to do with that kind of thing at all? Like everything was okay um, afterwards? Well, I think they had to call a code black before i was there which oh. means a security risk and basically it was because she had a, a knife and a fork in her hand and she what? walked out of the ward oh no but she wasn't gonna hurt anyone oh, she was like good. she was like i'm just here i'm just holding this because i in case i need to defend myself oh for fuck's sake yeah like, a lot girl, of people say that yeah like, girl no <laughs> That sounds familiar, apparently, calling Limo. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I would tell you another story, but it's, it revolves around a patient saying the N-word, and I just don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> <laughs> this was all on the same day. No way. Was it really yeah. on the same day? <laughs> I think chat deserves to know the story, Lama. No, I think sometimes, so. sometimes it isn't dementia froms, by the way. Sometimes people get like. You're not getting hate, Jet Black. You're not getting hate. They yep. get a UTI or something. So, a urinary tract infection. So, they get a pee pee hole infection. And then they go. Urethra. Mm -hmm. But it's reversible. Yes. But because of a pee pee hole infection. Yeah. Their brain just kind of like scrambles. It does, yes, definitely. But For if you sure. treat the infection, then it can your brain can unscramble. Exactly. The earlier you can actually get something fixed, the it's really weird, it is. and it looks it looks like dementia. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah, yeah. And people mistake the two quite a bit. They they just label older people as, oh, you know, they have some kind of dementia, but mm. actually. They have some kind of infection that's going on. Yeah. And then they don't have dementia. We need to treat the infection so then they can, you know, be normal. Like, they're normal again. Mm, exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. For sure. All about that kind of important stuff. Bro, I... How... How do people work at a nursing home? Is my Mama question. Hook did. Mama Hook did for like five years. Bro, I could never. Neither. Could never. Neither. Neither. Um, before we um continue, I have to go take a piss break. So Lama, you're all good to take over the stream for a bit while I go. But um, we got Fraun okay. saying, "Can I ask why my bones that have been injured in the past ache randomly in winter?" So BRB boys, I'm gonna take a piss break, and Lama's gonna take over the stream. Okay, so BRB boys. In winter, oh, bro. What? Where is that question? Randomly ache in winter. Wait, how much you know about knees? Knees dislocations, bro. With any kind of dislocation, I feel like you're more likely to get another dislocation or a tear in your ligament 
Like you need to do proper rehab or that shit is going to be damaged forever. Quick llama say no. Bruh. You're definitely gonna be going for an early knee replacement, mate. What is it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bro. Yeah, God, so you went fuck. Yeah, no. If you're going, usually with um, when you dislocate anything like a shoulder or a knee, um, you have like three. Usually, you have three tendons that are connecting like your kneecap or your shoulder to other bones, right? And when they kind of like get knocked out of place, that shit can tear, whether it's partially or fully, depending on how bad it is. A lot of the time people need surgery and the rehab is like minimum 12 months. So, mm, yeah, oh bro, I don't know my orthopedic shit. But with older people, you hear a lot of hip fractures. People get fractured knoffs, neck of femur, because they have their walking stick and then they lean on their walking stick a bit too hard and then they fall on the hip. Because it didn't form properly. Oh! Yeah. Why am I going off to the side? Bye guys! See you later! Bye! What the is going on? Hey Lama, I'm back. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How did you do that so perfectly? Um, the, um, the D-pad is something on the keyboard. Yeah. Welcome back, boys. Welcome Risky. back. What do I do if I want to kill myself and kill someone and then I'm just waiting? Guys, maybe not ask that kind of questions, eh? <laughs> there's a lot of shit you need to... A lot of mm, shit you need to go Yeah, through. there's a lot you gotta do with that, eh? Um, I definitely have said racial slur, yeah. Yeah, confirm. You know, please link it up. Ooh. There's always been this rumour that... Um, a like a first year nurse, um, put hmm? an oral dose of some kind of um anti epileptic medication into yeah. someone's IV, so it was like five times the maximum dose you can give, yeah, in an IV, and then they ended up dying. Oh, that sucks. The patient dying, and um, yeah. the nurse got charged with... Um, Manslaughter? No, it was like second degree murder. Mm. Um, but I don't know if that's true. Mm. But there, there are some nurses who go around and inject air into people's IVs. Yeah. Um, insulin into people. Uh, what else? I don't know. Bro, positive <laughs> Katie. <laughs> oh my god. Right, guys, can you please like be a bit like more mature because this kind of stuff is this is just really legit. Like our Twitch right now, outside of the streaming platform. This is real life stuff. Like the stories that we've told, the story that Lama has mainly told, this is real life stuff. So the memes are great, but just remember that this actually has impact on people around their lives and their stories. So let's keep a tiny bit less, you know, cringe, please, because Brother. these are, yeah, they're actual things, you know. Can I actually just say, um, Burns patients? They have the craziest backstory. And what, so, maybe the best one. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay, um, so, tw no, I won't tell you. So there were two, two mechanics, mm -hmm. um, working on a car. The car explodes. The man working closest to the car gets 90 degree. 90 degree. <laughs> Ninety <laughs> percent. I was gonna of his, say, of his body was like, of his skin was burnt. Yeah. Um, and the other guy who was standing a bit further away got like thirty percent. He mm -hmm. he made a recovery and yeeted out of hospital. This man with the ninety percent, um, he got both his arms amputated. Oh god. Um, he spent months in hospital. Oh, that's terrible. Um. Yeah, guess how old he is? 21. 23. Oh my god! I was close. That's awful though. He's so young. Yeah. Both arms amputated at 23. Bro, he's got his whole body's burnt. Your car fucking exploded. That's awful. Holy shit, that's fucking terrible. Go to the swim. I mean, for most of the time, and what happened was there was a car chase that happened at school. Whoa. What? Jesus, man. Everyone okay, Dylan? Wait, what is that? Okay, it's a medico legal thing. Mm. Jet? Black? Mm hmm. Good, good, okay. That's because, good, good. because usually with mental health patients, you if they are a harm to themselves or to others, yeah, they have to be scheduled under the Mental Health Act, and that means that they do not need to consent to care because they do not have the ability to make informed consent to medical advice and procedures. <clears throat> and that act, I think, there's a limit of how long it can last, I think. Mm. I don't know. Um, so, Limo, we're just basically talking about medical stuff because every time Lama is here, I want to make sure that Lama is addressing educational content. Like, my content is just brain rotting, brain cell killing shit. But when Lama is streaming and when Lama is here on my stream, I want to have Lama allowing educational stuff and adding really interesting medical stuff and science stuff sometimes to allow the balance you know so my brain rolling shit here and lums educational and smart stuff to make it balance on the stream you know that's what we're talking about explaining stuff about people's stories explain medical stuff and that kind of stuff that's what we're doing about limo uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh when when is overwatch not saying this is boring it's nice to know oh thank you Dylan. that's really nice actually i got llama when you want to play overwatch llama you want to do what you want okay how about this we'll do one more story or one more thing about a subject, and then we'll play Overwatch afterwards, Llama. I was thinking we all do quick play, have everyone join at the same time. How about that, Llama? Sure, bro. Yep, we'll do one more story, guys. Whoever does the next story or medical stuff. Yeah, of course, Dylan. Yeah, everybody can play. Anybody can play. Um, hmm. I can tell you mm -hmm. about... Oh. Mm. oh. If your blood is too sweet, you can die. What? Why? Yeah. Okay, so. Do y'all know what diabetes is? Yeah, it's a character I, from South Park. Because my dad has a gold tooth, and my, had da my dad has diabetes. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Bro, yeah. I've seen some... <laughs> some breaks. AP for real? Amputation. Why? <laughs> Jesus, man. Um, how do they go about fixing major arm breakages? You know, we'll like, I'm not an we'll orthopedic story. surgeon, but literally, probably what they'd have to do is like a, like an internal, what is it? Mm. 
Oh, Llama's a ghost. Llama, don't go away from us, Llama. You're a ghost. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're back now. You're back now, Llama. <laughs> Scared me for a second, Llama. What the fuck? Are you okay? Has anyone ever broke their <laughs> There has been stories, yes. There has been stories of medical okay. issues. Okay, yeah. it, 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 it depends what you mean. Like you snapping it. Like, snap, like snapping it. No, but then you can also just have a penis that doesn't work. And that's that's um, erectile, that's erectile dysfunction. Um, not necessarily, because, you know, you can get what is called a really disgusting infection oh, that God. can just go from okay. your asshole and then up to your abdomen. And no more elaborating. Uh. Okay, guys, do you want to know? Mama, have there ever been clients? Uh, I have not seen anyone with foreign bodies in the rectum as of yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my god, no, guys, guys. No, guys. no, Lama, can I, can no. I say, can I say? No, no way. Um, a common, a common, well, like an uncommon mm. way sometimes we give pain <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. No, no, Lama, no, no. Okay, so if y'all don't know what a suppository is, then let me educate you. So just like, just like you can put medications in your mouth, you can also put them up your bum. The most efficient way of medication is up bum, yes. Um, it is... Bioavailability wise, yes, but it also depends what medication it is. Exactly. And what the dosage is, etc. Yes. yes. We give enemas a lot in the hospital, but usually it's like olive oil or something. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, because patients get really fucking constipated, especially with all the opioids we hand out for pain. Exactly, yeah. Um, so they get blocked up. What and is usually, the best? Yeah, what? Oh, we have to start bowel care if they haven't opened their bowels in two days. <sighs> anyway, what I was going to say is um, we give a lot of drugs up the bum. Yeah, so even, we do, as we well do as alcohol as well. Up people's butts. As well as alcohol as well. Apparently, alcohol is a very good way of getting do drunk. Do you even know what an enema is, by yeah. the way? I don't. It's literally like an IV, but you put it in your booty hole. Oh, no. And then, brother. Some people are a fucking shit fountain. Oh. Enemas, enemas are the last line of like trying to open people's bowels, but blah blah. What? Jet black. What? Ew. Drinking? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what I was reacting to. That's what I was saying before. What the fuck, bro? What? No, or, or there's people who have like these stoma bags. So like their booty hole has been move to their stomach essentially um and they have that little bag i've seen someone rip their bag off and just their shit goes everywhere because it doesn't have a sphincter so you can't actually stop shit from coming out it just flows freely ah uh, disgusting okay um <clears throat> before we go on overwatch watch well, guys we gotta do one last thing because dylan's been very patient by the way thank you dylan for being very patient so why is dylan's knees clicking <laughs> brother it could be many things you could have like a connected tissue issue you could have had a previous injury you could be like you might not be walking properly like i don't know one leg might be longer than the other could be a lot of reasons because my knees click sometimes mm -hmm. but it's usually when i'm doing specific things but mm -hmm. you should see a physio broski yeah if it's bothering you yeah um because you, i know sometimes yeah sometimes the clicks are quite annoying and they really they're big they're big goddamn clicks because mm -hmm. i know i get like my hips click sometimes I also have to crack my hips, hmm? otherwise I'm in a lot of discomfort. Yeah. What? How do you do that? It's like you have to do this. You have to do like a side split, and right. it's the biggest crack you will ever hear in the world. Why do people get lightheaded when standing up? Okay. I like that, Lama. This is a good one. So basically, 
when you're sitting down your blood pressure is like at a certain blood pressure right but if you stand up too quickly your body kind of has to like compensate for the shift in blood pressure is it like a head spin so if your body can't compensate fast enough and the blood vessels can't um constrict fast enough then the blood not enough blood is going to your head mm -hmm. and then the normal response for your body to do is to pass out because gravity mm -hmm. <clears throat> your brain knows if you fall then the blood return is going to come back yes. to your head yes whoa whoa Fronzy. one time i got so nervous i passed out what were yes. you doing bro what was that bro what kind of event were Broski. you being nervous about what the fuck are you were you okay Holy shit. What, what was the actual topic, bro, if you don't mind me asking? Once after a vaccination, that makes that's sense. That's very common. That's that very, common. very common. But yeah. the fact that you feel so nervous you fainted, though, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, no, my boyfriend's... My boyfriend... That's happened to my boyfriend before. Oh. Yeah, so what happens is, like, your body goes into, like, a fight or a flight. Yeah. And your blood vessels are constricting. Um, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like... Oh, your body once once the vaccination's over your body is kind of like oh thank fuck that's over and then for whatever reason it's almost like the fight or flight kind of crashes mm -hmm. and then your blood like your blood vessels uh -huh. just quickly die yes i am first but then you all shall bow before my greatness wait fuck where am i going with this so you stand up and your body's like oh wait shit Mm. And then it doesn't constrict fast enough again. No. It's like, I don't know, it's like your your, your nervous system flip-flops. Yeah, it depends how fast you get up and how much of a gravity controls through the actual momentum no. of the weight of your brain when you're getting, no. <laughs> getting up. <laughs> no. So your blood pressure is controlled by your autonomic nervous system. Autonomic means involuntary movement. Or like involuntary involuntary processes right so like your blood vessel constriction and dilation pupil constriction dilation um saliva production um heart contractions um mm -hmm. what else sweating mm -hmm. um excretion of like certain hormones yeah like yeah um and basically if you do something okay wait no let me start yeah okay yeah okay, take so, your time take your time your autonomic nom nervous system has two modes that kind of like push and pull against each other to find a balance right so if one is dominating yeah. But it's balanced, so like if you're chilling, it's going to activate the chill part of your autonomic nervous system, right? And exactly, that's going to yeah. dominate because that's how that's just how your body's balanced. Exactly. But then all of a sudden you switch to something like you're just chilling and then you get up all of a sudden your body's like your autonomic nervous system's like, "Bro, I'm still in chill mode." I'm not ready for this shit. I feel like this so is still you, like a head spin. Yeah, so then you end up passing out. Which is like a, a reflex. Because your brain's like, oh shit, I need oxygen real fast. So then you pass out because gravity. And then your body corrects. Hey, Tez, can please shut up, Dylan, please, Tez. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. I got it just a bit. <clears throat> That's enough, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure chat knows as well. It's like everything is really fucking complicated and it's really hard to dumb this shit down. Very. Because yeah, so I've essentially got so the much body's information manager, in my yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah, so basically your brain is your body's manager. Yeah, exactly. But then you've got your digestive system, which is a, is a brain in itself. Exactly, bro. Exactly, yeah. 
I don't know. I feel like you've got four brains in your body. Yeah. Your heart, your brains, your liver, and your onions. No, that's not what I'm... Your onions. <laughs> onions have layers, donkey. No, we have four brains. We've got, like, our gut. We've got lizard brain. Then we've got our first order, then our second order brain. <laughs> Lizard brain is like all your primitive shit, like your breathing reflex. Like, you don't have to think about breathing. You just breathe automatically, right? But also, did you know that blinking is not an involuntary reflex? So What's when that, people are unconscious, when people are unconscious... Nah, Jeff, fuck you, Jeff. No, welcome, Jeff Black. They're not going to close their eyes. No. Usually when people are unconscious, they have their eyes open. Because yes. your your eyelid, it be a muscle, right? <laughs> but it's, Do it's it. controlled Do by it. first order. It's yeah. controlled by, like, your first order brain. So mm -hmm. your basic brain. <laughs> not your lizard brain. Your lizard brain is, like, on all the time. Should be on all the time. Yeah. And you don't control that shit. Yeah. Bippity boppity, her breathing is now right. a conscious activity. The fuck? <laughs> 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 Thinking of two men kissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. As soon as um, we start thinking about gay men, we go on Overwatch. All right. So, Llama, are you ready to go on some Overwatch, Llama? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you satisfied? Chats. Are we all good now, Llama? So. Honestly, Llama, I cannot fathom the malappreciation. I really appreciate you fathom. being here. Th fathom. I cannot appreciate the fathom of the amount of appreciation I want to give you for you taking your time being here and taking your time. What the fuck? All right, are we all good now? End the call, Lama, and go to watch now. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But it's fine. But as long as you're okay with playing Overwatch, I'm feeling a bit buzz because I got four cans of the um, grog. Fuck you too, bro. Can yeah. me the frog. Kermit the Frog here, and welcome to Sesame Street. Ah. Ah. 